Okay, shalom, shalom. Kom yasha ala, koholimla, yahawa bashim yavashai, bahashim kaha kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahawa bashim yavashai to the best of their, their ability. Yahachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the spirit and got a couple of um, articles lined up and call hello you life to you how about you was shy man for seeing the fall and destruction of our enemies man and this is how you know because there's so many of these stories happening right this is how you know that first off we're in the last days um the scripture that goes into matthew 24 and 12 it says that um because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold. That's one of those last day prophecies that Yahweh Shah spoke of, right? Um, and just the fall of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man's kingdom, because this type of shit right here, you never would have heard of. I didn't hear about stuff like this when I was growing up. I mean, you know, stuff happened. Don't get me wrong. But there's a lot of this murder, suicide stuff going on amongst the so-called white people, you know, and where they're just killing the whole damn family, killing the dog. <laughs> you know, killing off the, the babies, the newborn, the, the toddlers, the teenagers, and then offing themselves. That's how you know that the so-called white man's kingdom has fallen because it's, 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 a, it's a lot of stress out here. It's stressful. It's vexing being in Esau Edom's kingdom, man, without the Lord. If you don't have your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, you're going to go through it. Because we go through it, but at least we have him to fall back on as the comforter. You know, for peace. But let's get some of this story, right? It says Southern Utah man kills wife, five, five children and mother-in-law before shooting himself. Like, God damn. And you know what? You know, the mother-in-laws, he always got something to say. They're always constantly in a bit in the business of a marriage, man. That's why the scripture says, hey, you're supposed to leave your mother and your father, <laughs> you know, you're supposed to leave your mother and your father. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find that real quick. Okay, Genesis 2, 2 and 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. And, and, and where's the love in, in, in you killing off the, you know, this, you're supposed to be one flesh with this person. But you'll kill her and your seed. Hey, hey, that's how you know that. Hey, that's a death spirit from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And also, when you read into this, this verse as well, where do you think um, Adam got this, this rule from? Therefore shall I, a man leave his father and his mother. Now, the Christian church, they'll tell you <laughs> Adam was the first person on earth. But what this scripture right here is telling you with common sense is that Adam was not the first person on earth because he's telling you about a father and a mother. How would he know about a father and a mother? Aha. That's something, you know, that's a, uh, another lesson. Salakia. But anyway, let's go back into this. Right. Because when you have a mother in law involved and I'm telling you, we, we you see you've seen the movies. Any person that's <laughs> I'm sure some of you may. Who knows? You, you you know somebody that's that's they got that mother in law, man. It's just the talk, 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 giving the, 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 the daughter advice when she should be just living with her husband, listening to what he's saying, being submissive to him and moving on with the family, man. Things are going to happen. You're going to have some some bumps in the road, but you're supposed to be you women supposed to play your role, man. Of being submissive, rearing the children and teaching them, you know, the proper things around the house, so to speak. And the man is supposed to be he's supposed to be able to be a damn king in his castle, so to speak, and have some damn peace, man. <laughs> but that's not the case in these Americas, man. The so-called white man ha has has given the woman full reign to just clobber the man. Anyway, let's get some of it. Right. This is Enoch. Iron County. That's kind of funny because that, that, that name Enoch, because, you know, Enoch, he prophesied about the last days, too. You know, hey, another lesson. Enoch officials say they may never know what prompted one of the city's residents to shoot and kill his wife, three daughters, 
two sons and his mother-in-law before taking his own life. We don't know why this happened. Uh, I can tell you why it happened. Because of Esau Edom's kingdom. The so-called white man is ruling. This is what happens when a, when, a, when a wicked race of people is ruling, man. You can't get around it. They write the laws for, for your A, B, C, D, E, F, G people. They write the laws for a woman where she can just up and leave your ass, go deal with another dude, have you on child support and a bunch of other wickedness. Then she can pull up at the kid's soccer game with the, with the nigga that she was cheating on with. Or you, I mean, <laughs> in front of the husband. And there's nothing he can do, right? Okay, it says, we don't know why this happened. No one would probably know what was going on through the minds of these individuals. On Thursday, visibly shaken city leaders released more details of the tragic incident. Could you imagine that type of murder scene, though? All that, all that blood around and just bodies. You looking at babies, man? Okay, it says, on Thursday, visibly shaken city leaders released more details of the tragic incident that has left residents of the rural southern Utah community of 7,500 residents just outside of Cedar City in shock. While also expressing their gratitude for the continued support the town has received from across the nation. Tasha Haight, 40, Haight's mother, 78-year-old Gail Earl, and you can do you know already know 78 she had her she had her daughter when she was 38 she was damn near 40 so you already know she was probably in her ear <laughs> girl you he need to do this and he needs to do that and you need to be she was probably one of them bossy ass chicks you see the movies you see it on tv you see it in your sitcoms your damn soap operas and all this other shit i can imagine it Okay, she was 78. It says three daughters, ages 17, 12, and 7. Well, damn, it just shit. One of them was just about at graduation point. Were shot to death by the children's fathers, Hate's husband, 42 year old Michael Orwin Hate, who then took his own life, according to a statement by the city. The names of the children have not been released, of course, of course. All eight bodies were found in the home Wednesday afternoon. Uh, Dotson said Tasha Haight and one of her daughters were seen at a church function the night before. Oh, see, there you go. What's going on? You, you religious people, you at the church, you believe in sweet white baby Jesus, right? The mother was scheduled to meet with an undisclosed person Wednesday morning. When she did not show up for the, that appointment, the person she was supposed to meet with called police requesting a welfare check. He said... Dotson did not say Thursday while the person left felt the welfare check was needed. Man, could have been some nigga she was meeting up with. Never mind, though. After Tasha Haight was not located, the missing person report was originally filed. Once it was determined that he lived in Enoch, Dotson said the missing person report was turned over to the local um, police department and that soon turned into a search for the entire family. Of course, pray for the family. Uh, city leaders were visibly shaken. Okay, this is what our public feels discussing it, talking to each other. All right, all right, all right. On that, the youngest children played in my yard and with my sons. He said, pausing to collect himself. Uh, Chestnut said his officers has received calls of support. Oh, you got all that there. Okay. Yellow police, yellow police tape blocking off both the home and the entire remain the entire street remained in place Thursday okay okay here we go right here this is what I wanted to see right here too recent di recent divorce filing see <laughs> neither police nor city leaders have given a possible motive for the tragic incident and say it takes several days and weeks to figure that out Tasha Haight filed for a divorce on December 21st according to court records Neither police nor city leaders or on Thursday could say whether that was a factor in the killings. Man, look, <laughs> a lot of the times it is, man. Dotson said determining who was living in the house at the time or if anyone had moved out since the divorce papers was filed will be a part of the ongoing investigation. See, th th there you go. She's supposed to be one with this man, right? Many residents of the tight-knit community were seen driving by. 
of course, being nosy as hell. Just really all around great kids, very sweet family, very loving kids, smart, enthusiastic. Of course, you get all that. You're going to get all that every single time. Another woman who dropped off flowers became emotional up upon seeing the house and the police tape. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. The kindness you showed and fun we had with you were for won't be forgotten, sweet friend. All that good stuff, right? She was a beautiful person. Okay, you get all that. And there you go. Hey, look at, look at this nice family picture right here. And see, it's too much shit going on. You see? It, it's people out here, they're struggling. Um, that middle class household of, you know, the Brady Bunch type of setting is not kicking off like how it used to, man. People are out here fussing about simple shit in the grocery line at Walmart about who, you know, what's going to be for dinner because the, the, the inflation is too high. You see? But look. This right here is supposed to be well, your, your typical American dream family, right? Look at that. This man didn't even want to see his sons grow up. Now you can, I mean, you can, you, you, you see what it is, man. Come on, man. You know, by the spirit, we read between the lines. We know what it is. She probably was out here trying to go and whatever nigga would have dealt with her anyway with five children. But hey, it's, 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 it's simps out here like that. You see? Look at there. This is your typical. Look, look, all in. Look. You don't set up pictures like this, man. They're actually at this place. This is not a backdrop, man. You don't set up pictures like this with the kids all dressed. Everybody is all matching. Your color, your color coordinated. And you already know more likely that the wife put all that together, right? I can't see the man being, you know, a part of that coordination. You can clearly see that this is your, your average, typical American family. There they go. And she's telling him she wants a divorce. <laughs> this person right here says, uh, replying, this is why it's dangerous to have guns in the home. Push button access to killing makes it much more likely that someone will kill them. Man, look, man. They, man, people out here killing people with damn machetes and shit. <laughs> hey, this code right here. Check this out. It says, this is how the photos be looking in headlines when white man kills his entire family. And they write about this. Because see, had this been a so-called black person... That man, they'd have, had, they'd have had every picture that they could have possibly had of that nigga. He's, he's throwing dice. He's got a blunt in his mouth while he's doing it. You know, with some chick in the backdrop with a fat ass. You know? <laughs> so, this is perfect. And this is Twitter. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I don't want to keep this long, man. But this is typical. As you can see, this is a, a your, your typical, nice, loving. American family probably, um, you know, got a, you know, probably both of them great jobs. But I'm telling you, man, hey, with this inflation, bills, because see, people like this right here, they, they're the ones that's got the, the, um, the five bedroom house with the, you know, three car garage and they, you know, they have a truck, they have a van, they have a car, they have an RV, they have a, you know, your ATVs or your, your jet skis. You just seen them on the damn jet skis. This is your, your average American so-called white people family. And they've fallen from that. They've, they've truly fallen from grace, man. That's how you know that we're in the last days. These people are falling from where they used to be. And, and mainly it's because they've sown so much horrific shit, man, throughout the earth. And as a race of people, that's why when you go into Job 34 and 29, matter of fact, let me get that real quick. The Lord, he deals with races of people. He deals with people as an entire race, man. Job 34, 29. And it reads, when he giveth quietness, this is talking about Yahweh, which the world ignorantly calls God and Allah and all these different names. Jehovah, his name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. Those are the true names of the father and son. Okay, but it says, 
When he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him, whether it be done against a nation or against a man only? See? So the Lord, he deals with entire nations of people and he deals with the individual people within those nations. And he's dealing with the so-called white man as an entire nation because they sown so much bloodshed in this in this earth, man. They, they, they've caused discord among brethren. So they're reaping what they've sown. According to Galatians 6 and 7, Yahweh is not mocked. That that a man sow, you know, roughly paraphrasing, that's what he'll also reap. And they've been sowing discord among brethren for so long. They've been sowing this, 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 this hatred of the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American man and woman and separated the, the families and the children. They've been doing that for so long and they're starting to reap what they've sown, man. It's that simple. Let's go to this next article, though. Crazy as hell, man. <laughs> hey, dude wasn't playing no games, bro. This boy killed the mother-in-law, too. So, you know, she was living there. And he was probably like, oh, you oh, you trying. Oh, you want a divorce or oh, you want to end the family? Well, I'm going to show you how I'm going to end this. We're going to end it all. I'm going to end it all. Damn, bro. Young couple with, with young children. OK, but well, let's get this next one. This one right here. And, and, you know, just like I said again, just how fucked up America is, man. This is Babylon the Great. And things are just not going well, man. You got a lot of road rage. Um, um, but people are very impatient. Motherfuckers is shooting the restaurants. Motherfuckers is shooting people at the drive through window because they're just impatient. You got a drug or opioid problem. <laughs> the, the suicide rate is crazy as hell here. Gun violence is out of control. You see? And, it, and it's not getting no better. It's not going to get no better because people are stressed. You seen that whack ass holiday just passed? People weren't happy for the holidays. People wouldn't, you know, <laughs> this typical, this was a very typical holiday. You see, but here you go, another one. Neighbors left confused after seemingly great guy drove Tesla off cliff with idyllic family inside. See? See? Who drives off a cliff with their family, man? You hey, you stressed, man. Stress and other and, and other than that, though, you know, it's just like I said again, let me get let me let me get another scripture, man. Salakia. Um, bear with me here. It is Galatians five and twenty two. Right. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Let me go off into that and get the rest of that. Faith, meekness, temperance, which is self-control, man. Against such, there is no law. This is what we what what this is something to be so thankful to you. How about Shimia was shy for man, because these are the things that keep us intact throughout the day of walking through this man's um, vex vexing ass kingdom. This place is crazy as hell. So can you imagine you being in this truth, you if, if, you know, the listeners that's into this truth. Can you imagine not having Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai on your side throughout the day? Would you go back and from from would you turn back from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and go back into the world and, and not have the type of protection that he's given us from this type of mentality where you'll kill off your whole goddamn family? <laughs> For real, because I can remember, the, um, you know, the type of anger that I used to have, the type of impatience I used to have. And, you know, we're still working on things. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we're not all the way there, you know, and, and we're praying that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will have mercy on us so we can get these new bodies in the future. So we'll just be done with all the stress, man. But can you imagine not having these particular attributes right here? This, these are the fruits of the spirit right here, man. But the fruit of the spirit is love, right? Joy, peace. Because no matter what we go through, we know that it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's in control of all things. A man's goings are of the Lord. We know that he's, we have him in, 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 in trust in him. And he's our rock, our defense. But you have a person out here that don't have this. 
Did they throw? Through, man. That's why, that's why it's so important that you pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for, you know, lean not to your own understanding. It's, it's um, you know, according to um, Proverbs 3 and 5. But verse 6, it says, acknowledge him in all your ways that your, your, your steps or your path will be ordered by him. You see? That's why we pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Please help us to not lean upon my own understanding. Help me to, you know, to acknowledge you in all my ways and my steps to be ordered throughout the day. So he can maneuver you around some of these crazy ass people. Lord, please guide my steps because you can run into <laughs> you, you don't want to be in a, in a Walmart or any of these places. A damn, you know, these places where these people just randomly just motherfucker just jump out the car and he's shooting everything. Road rage. You 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 right behind or right beside somebody in a damn car that's just out of control, man. They just impatient as hell. They they can't get around the person that they're driving it behind. You're driving on the side. They, you know, it's just <laughs> they be having damn demons on them, man. Anyway, but the thing of it is, you know, that I really wanted to touch on is, hey, America is is falling, man. That's the bottom line. Bottom line, because you have completely successful or what America calls successful. You know, you got you got all the things that America say you're supposed to have as far as the American dream, but you losing it. I'll I, I be at the, I just can't, you know, I'm at the plantation today and, and, and I'm walking through and I'm seeing people, you know, in cubicles and shit, just looking like they just I'm just looking at them like he, he could be next. <laughs> Look at stress as hell in front of a computer. He could be the next shooter, man. Because that's the way they be looking. Okay, but it says a neighborhood is still in shock after a father drove a Tesla carrying his wife, two children, over a notorious California cliff earlier this month, allegedly intentionally. Darmesh, Arvid, Patel, which he sounds like he might be one of those um, East Indians. Man, y'all better go back home, man. Y'all here in the Americas trying to Live the American life. You, you, you other nations, y'all better take y'all asses back home to your own country, man. You're better off. OK, it says he's 40 years old. Another about the same age as the last guy was arrested Monday at Stafford Hospital per an arrest report by the, the California Highway Patrol that was previously reviewed by people. Patel of Pasadena has been charged with attempted murder and child abuse. Patel was trapped inside his vehicle with wife, 41, as well as their two children, seven-year-old girl, four-year-old boy, before they were saved in a traumatic, dramatic multi-agency rescue. Neighbors have now spoken about their shock. As the Patel seemed like the perfect family, and they were often seen walking with their children and giving cookies to neighbors. <laughs> I told you. See, this is your, your typical, you know, um, so-called white people that live in these neighborhoods, and it's just like, you know... Everything is just beautiful. Hey, how you doing? You know, they walking the dogs. You know, these are the type of people right here that will call the police on you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans if they see you in the neighborhood. What are you doing here? You know, even if you was just a damn delivery delivery driver for Amazon or something. A damn Karen to roll up. These are <laughs> these are people that's in the, <laughs> that, that, that have the Karens, man. It says they're a beautiful, idyllic family. No indication of issues. It's so strange because he's a great guy. Uh, they're always great. Maybe it was a moment of insanity. Oh, oh psh, you think? No, that was a moment of, of the spirit um, that one of those, those, those spirits of vengeance that the Lord placed on his ass, man. You know, you go into the apocrypha, the Lord created spirits of vengeance. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. See, this is why it's so important that we, you know, we need our Lord. In, in these last days, see, see, things aren't even as rough as, as they're going to get. You know what I'm saying? This, this is just a, you know, this is just, this is playtime right now, man. When shit really hits the fans and people doing simple stuff like this because, you know, um, um, you know, whatever. Damn argument. I'm tired. I'm stressed. I, I got depression, you know, a you know, the, the, the holidays, it drained me, honey. The, the bank accounts are low. Man, look, man, <laughs> we, we are out here expecting to lose it all. We're, 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 all we're worried about is our daily bread. We're not even worried about that, you know? 
or are we looking forward to daily bread? Keep on moving until you how about Shimmy Awashah make that move, man. Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28, also known as the book of Sirach and the Apocrypha. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they power off their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. See? Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth the wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So the Lord sent the spirit towards this nigga, got him riled up, and he hit the gas on that Tesla. <laughs> Straight up. And he, hey, hey, hey he, he, the scripture talks about people in these last days are going to want to die, and they can't. Roughly paraphrasing. He tried to kill himself and his family, and they asked to still live. And that's why when you go into Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 39, what is that, uh, Salakia? Let's go into that real quick. Shows you that the Lord, he's in control of who lives and who dies, man. You're, you're not, he don't want you with your ass out of here. You're not going to be out of here. But what he can do is he can cause complete suffering on you and, and, and still have you live. And, and, you, and you'll even want to kill yourself even further. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make a lie. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See, so the Lord just wanted this guy and his family to be wounded. And if he wants them to be healed, they're going to be healed. OK, it says. um, Because that person said it. Maybe it was a moment of insanity. No, it wasn't, bro. It, 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 it don't work like that. It says um, Newmark who moved onto the street more than 40 years ago, told the outlet the Patels had been in the neighborhood for five years after they purchased a home at the end of, you know, I guess whatever street this is. They quickly became staples in the community and even sent out Christmas cards just days be <laughs> before Patel drove the vehicle 250 feet over Devil's Slide. Ain't that something, boy? Mm. Another neighbor, Sarah Walker, told the Times, he's just so present. Darmesh and I would wave high, but he would always come over and have a conversation. He was always happy and ready to talk. Right? Expressing shock, she added, oh, Patel and his wife, really, I can't believe it. No one can believe it. They felt like newlyweds. <laughs> the way they interacted. And look at each other. It just felt like they should be together. Hey, look. That's and that, that's the American thing. The American thing is to put on a front that we are the happy family. And it's all kinds of bullshit going on within the household. OK, it says um, a, a, Pas a Pasadena city manager spokesperson said that police were never called to their house for domestic violence issue. See, and, and that's how, you know, I'm thinking these are those um, East Indians because they're a lot of these these um, people that come from other countries. They're pretty generally within their households and doing their thing. You know, and, and they don't they're not big about. Letting, you know, gossip, so to speak, I put it that way. Right. God damn, no. And this is the shit. Let me see what they did. This video play. Man, hey, look at that shit, bro. Four people, including two children, are in critical condition after a Tesla they were in fell 250 feet over a cliff known as the Devil's Slide in California. On Monday, a fire official shared a video from the Cal Fire San Mateo Santa Cruz units to put a profile letting local drivers know that a car went over the cliff and there would be delays in the area. At this point, what we've got is four critical patients. we got a Tesla over the side about 250 feet. Down. The agency later shared clips of helicopters hovering over the water and tweeted that one of the patients had been rescued and brought to the top of the cliff by firefighters. Per ABC7, the four people in the Tesla had been inside the car for more than an hour. According to KRON4 in San Francisco, an official at the scene shared that the children in the vehicle were three and nine. According to the San Francisco Chronicle, all four individuals have been taken to nearby hospitals. It's currently not clear what caused 
caused the Tesla to go over the cliff. The Devil's Slide is located just south of San Francisco along California's famous coastal highway. Okay, that's enough on that. You know what it is. But obviously they know now what happened because they got his ass for attempted murder and child abuse, right? It says it's not clear if Patel has hired a lawyer who can comment on his behalf. Uh, they saw the white Tesla. The release said authorities managed to reach the vehicle. Okay, we got all that. Um, tells people he hadn't seen a crash or a recovery quite like that before. Hey, man, that's a long ways to fucking fall, but the Lord kept... Kept their asses alive, man. It says, I've seen people go over cliffs and survive, but never from 300 feet, he says. Also, it's unusual for that many people to be in a car and to have them all survive. See? So, this thing, man, hey, people are just, they, 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 they're just tired, man. He also noted that seeing the two children moving around inside the vehicle changed the tone. Hearing that a car went 300 feet off a cliff and then seeing victims still alive, that boasted hope for everyone and changed the tone for sober to something more miraculous. Okay, but anyway, like I said again, man, hey, things are getting crucial out here, man. People are tired. People are stressed. People are, are they're, they're just not hopeful. I done a lesson um, not too long ago. Um, what was that, the other day? A few days ago. Where, you know, it's talking about how they done a Gallup poll and, and how people was just like, they, they just don't have no faith in America. They don't, they don't have no faith in um, 2023 and all this other good stuff, man. So, you know, hey, keep your head up out here, man. Hey, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, hey, you are the Hebrew Israelites. The Lord is breaking down this place of our enemies. In fact, let me get one more scripture before I'm out. Um... And this is for you. Because, see, these people have the apple of the, uh, the Lord's eye in their hands. These so-called white people still have the children of Israel in captivity for damn near 500 years. And, and the Lord is, is giving them that business right now. And they, yet they haven't seen anything yet. It's, this place is going to get a lot more terrible. It's, um, this is Ecclesiastes 25 and 7. There will be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children. See? And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. See, first off, they can't have joy of their children. You can't enjoy no fucking children here in this place. A woman, that's just like that first story. She filed for a divorce. Who do you think was going to take the children? She is going to take all this man's kids from him. So he's basically like, probably was like, man, well, fuck it, shit. I'm... I'm going hey, to just knock all y'all off. If I can't be, you know, with my children, if you, you know how men be, man. Some men be that way. You know what I'm saying? So, but also, we're seeing the fall of our enemy. And that's a beautiful thing, man. Well, hey, we applaud these types of things. We're not praying for America to get better. We're not praying God bless America, none of that shit. We are always constantly praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that he would put the, give these, give this place the business, man. To put it on their ass is something serious, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Ashallah.